Hi there, I'm Doug from SubTV and today we're going to look at iPhoto which is a very useful program which can be used for organizing thousands of photographs and allows us to do a certain amount of editing of those photographs as well. So first of all, let's start from the top. Take your camera and using the cable which is supplied with the camera, plug it into an available USB port, turn your camera on and iPhoto should launch automatically. So on the left hand side we can see the name and model of our camera under the devices list. Now that's highlighted and we can see there's three photographs that are on this camera. So I'm going to import those but before I import them I'm going to give them an event name. So this collection of photographs will be known as this event and I'm going to call it Tester1 and then I'm going to click Import All. Now iPhoto imports the photographs one at a time and it will ask me if I want to delete the photos or keep the photos on the camera itself. Well let's delete them um, and keep organized. So now the photographs are safely on our Mac and we can see the event name at the top here is Tester1. Another way to import pictures into iPhoto is if we've, um, if we've got a file on our desktop which contains photographs, um, we can just drag that whole file onto the iPhoto logo on our uh, dock and that launches iPhoto and of course imports a photograph, uh, all, all the photographs contained in that folder. It also names the event um, with the same name as the as the folder. So in this case, it's titled New Desktop Pics. So these are just pictures which I use for my desktop. We may want to add photographs to our iPhoto library, which we find on the internet. Um, so in this case, on Apple's website, I, I quite like this picture of this iPod here. So I'm just going to right click or cl command click and in the drop down menu um, I can actually open uh, rather add image to my iPhoto library and then iPhoto automatically imports that image directly from Safari which is pretty handy. The last way to import photographs into iPhoto is from other applications on the Mac so um, let's use Photo Booth for example and uh, take a picture using the built-in camera um, and if I just click this icon here immediately the photographs imported into iPhoto. Now um, the event's untitled but it just uses the, the date that this, this picture was taken in this instance. So let's have a look at these events. Now each photograph um, generally contains uh, what's known as uh, a tag which contains the information of the date it was taken and iPhoto uses this tag to sort the photographs into events so photographs that were all taken on the same day that way it makes it easy for you to organize all of your pictures no matter how many you have. If we move our mouse from left to right across each event iPhoto does not what's known as skimming which just skims through all the pictures which are contained in that event. So we can quickly use this method to find the pictures that we're after if you find it easier to remember an event by a different photograph, you can skim to that photograph, right click or command click, and then just select make key photo. That way this photograph remains on top of the event. So to open the event, you just need to double click the event, and that, that will open the event with all the photographs contained. Now you can change your preferences uh, a little bit here if you prefer. Um, as with all programs on the Mac, if you go to the main menu and just drop down the preferences selection or press command comma, uh, it brings up the preferences window. Now in the preferences window, if we uh, click events, which is the little yellow square here, uh, when we double click the event the main event square we've got two options it can either show the event photos or magnify that particular photo that we've skimmed to so let's select uh, magnify photo and now I'll show you when I skim across the photos find the photo I want and double click it brings up that whole 
that whole photograph. However, if I still want to view the whole event, there's this little bar at the bottom that says show photos. And if I click that, it just takes me into the event. So when viewing a photograph in iPhoto, often when you view a picture, you've still got the iPhoto frame around the picture itself. Now the way to get around that is if you press um, this little button down here in the bottom left hand corner, the two arrows coming out, the whole photograph will expand to fill the screen. This is how I normally prefer to view my photos. Um, I've still got the option if I move my mouse to the top of the screen to skip to other photos in that particular event. Uh, I can use the arrows key on my keyboard left and right to skip through the pictures. If I want to edit a particular picture which is selected, I just move the mouse to the bottom of the screen. The last way to view all your photographs at the same time inside iPhoto um, is by going to the source menu on the left and just click photos. Now when you click photos you can view all of the events at the same time and you do still get the event name um, at the top and below that event name you've got the date when it was taken and any other description that might be attached to that particular event. Um, if you find scrolling through all of your photos as you build your library there are just too many to view in this in this method then you can move your arrow to this little move, move your mouse to this little down arrow and just hold down the option key that will close all the events and you can just see the titles and then that way you can drop down the event you want to see let's quickly look at splitting events in this event we've got lots of photographs which were taken over two or three different days one was from a gig and another was a day out it looks like so let's let's select all the photographs taken at this gig by holding down the shift key or well, select the first photograph hold down the shift key and then select the last photograph which is here I want to make that into a separate event we're going to use this little button down here the split key here click that once now iPhoto has now created two new events and kept the original event. So if we, uh, it's got this first photograph by itself, it's got the day out in Brighton event and the original event. So let's go back to the events menu. You can see here, this is the uh, gig event. That's the first photograph which was by itself, which had nothing to do with it. And this was the, uh, the day out event. So. I'm just going to rename this particular event gig and that this new event here I'll also rename, rename as Brighton so that's how you split photographs in an event. Now lastly let's just have a look at merging two events now these two events here were taken on the same day and I want them to be in the same event so I'm going to highlight them both I can either click the merge button down here or I can con uh, command click or right click and just select merge events from the drop down menu and then just confirm my selection. So I hope that some of these basic tips will help you keep all of your photographs organized in iPhoto.